long time no talk. Um, it's probably been close to... No, it's been three weeks since I actually uploaded a video. Um, not to say that I didn't film videos. I filmed a couple in between the last few weeks and I just was not happy with them. Um, and I ran into just some technical issues when it came to editing one of them on the one I filmed last week. And then, um, work was crazy for a while and it was Mother's Day and I kind of, I'm kind of glad I didn't upload one because I felt like I needed just a slight break from it. And it, I mean by the editing and everything because I was just so busy at work that I didn't have time to edit. So, um, yeah, that's my little story, but I am back with a new video today, and today is going to be kind of, um, different. So, my last video I uploaded was my big Sephora, Sephora haul, and I thought today, um, I would do a little mini review of all the products that I got for you now that I've been using them for the last three weeks, and kind of tell you what I love and what I'm on the fence about, and also add in some kind of make it like a favorites video from May. So that's what today's video is going to be about and we're going to go ahead and jump right in. I have all the products in front of me. So first I'm going to start with the things that I was not exactly thrilled with but I still really enjoy. So the first is the Makeup Forever um, Skin Equalizer. This is the Smoothing Primer. Um, I know I said in my Sephora haul that I, if I didn't like this I would return it. And it's not that I don't like this primer. I really like it. I don't like it as much as my professional, which is the benefit one right here. Um, the difference is between the two is this one's not as thick as the other one, and I like the professional's thickness. This, but it does the same thing. Um, I just don't think it fills in my pores as well as the professional. And I think it's maybe because I have larger pores, especially right here from acne scarring from when I was younger. So I still really like this stuff. I still reach for it. Um, I'm doing a wedding in June and I'm definitely going to be bringing this because I think it will work well with the bride and everything. So um, that's really kind of my thoughts but it's it's similar to the professional just personally for me. I don't think it works as well on my skin but that's just my skin. The next I have is the Marc Jacobs. This is the um, the new nudes line. It's a sheer lip gel and it's a really pretty color. I like this a lot for when I'm just getting in the car and I don't feel like putting on liner and like everything. Um, the only thing I don't like about this, I'll swatch it for you. It's a pretty color. Um, the only thing I don't like about this is it has little flex of glitter in it that makes the application process a little gritty feeling. Um, now the glitter doesn't go onto your lips when you're wearing the lipstick, which I'm very happy about because I am not a, about to have glitter on my lips. Um, I think that's kind of a little juvenile looking, I don't know, very preteen kind of thing to have glittery lip, glittery lips. That's just my personal opinion, though. I'm not trying to offend anyone, if that's your thing. But, um, yeah, that's the only complaint I have about this, is the little glitter flex in it. I don't understand why they're there. Um, it seems kind of pointless to me, but other than that, I think it's a great product. Next, I have is the Makeup Forever. Um, this is the sense eyes um this it works they say it works on waterproof makeup and everything and it's for sensitive eyes i don't have sensitive eyes and i find when i use this it it doesn't irritate them to the point where they're like red afterwards it just is like it doesn't feel great on your eyes so what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to put it on like a a cotton ball or a cotton round or something and just hold it onto your eye for a little while and massage it in and then it will kind of just melt off your makeup and then you do water and the process and everything. Well, I like this stuff. Um, it doesn't take off lash glue like I would like and it does not take off one of the mascaras I'm going to talk about in my favorites very well, but I think that is fault with the mascaras formula and not with this um, product's formula. So. It's interesting. I'm definitely going to finish it. I won't be repurchasing it though. Um, next time I might go ahead and try the new Benefit one. Um, that I think it's going to be a little 
I think it's similar to this, but we'll see. We'll see. I just think it's okay for the price. Yeah. So that's what I think of that. Um, the last thing that I'm like whatever about is the NARS blush that I got. This is the Christopher. Oh my god. This is the Christopher Kane formula. Now I absolutely love this color. I love how bright it is. Like a little goes a long way. And I think the only problem I have with it is that it can be just a tad intense. So you have to use a really, really light hand with it. Um, and have like your foundation brush or your beauty blender um, handy for if you put on too much and you can like, you know, fix your mistake that way. Um, so other than that, that's the only problem I have. It's just, I think, a little, it's a little difficult to work with. I would definitely not recommend this for beginners with makeup. Um, because I know, especially when I started using makeup, uh, you can kind of tend to use a heavy hand and not realize that some products you need a really light hand for. So, yeah, other than that, though, it's a great blush. So those were the products that I was like, eh, about um, from my haul. Now I'm going to talk about the ones that I fell in love with. Um, on top of some products that I did not mention because um, they weren't part of that haul, but I want them part of the favorites video. So first we have is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone. I can't get enough of this. I have it mixed um, with opal on my cheeks today. I love, love, love this highlighter. It's absolutely gorgeous. It just looks so fresh and glowing on your skin. It's not chalky at all. It doesn't have chunks of glitter in it, which you don't want in highlighters. I absolutely love this and I've never been a fan of luminous skin because I am oily especially right here in the t-zone so to me it just makes me look extra oily but with mix with my setting powders and setting sprays and all that kind of stuff um, I'm actually able to wear um, highlighters now and this has been my favorite I've been reaching for it all month um, ever since I got it so absolutely love and that should be no surprise because everyone loves this color Next we have is the Naked Skin um, Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. This is from Urban Decay. This meets the hype of everyone that I just, I can't get enough. This is the only um, concealer I've used all month. I have not put anything else under my eyes. It is the perfect color for me. I was a little um, apprehensive when I got this one because this is the light warm. I wanted the light neutral, but it's the perfect color. The applicator is awesome. It's just this really thin applicator and it's very flexible. And I find that one side does one eye and one side does the other eye. I don't have to like dip back into the tube. Um, it is weightless. It doesn't crease on me. Like I can put it on and wait a couple minutes without setting it and it doesn't crease. It blends out beautifully. It blends out better than any other concealer that I own. Um, it's definitely taken the place of the NARS Creamy Concealer. I love that concealer as well, but this one I love even more. It's a little bit, it's, it's not as thick as that one, I think. And also I have the correct color. But besides all that, this stuff is amazing. Definitely go get it. I would definitely be repurchasing and I'm going to go get um, darker shades for when I get a tan so I can just keep using it because there's not, there's not enough good things to say about this um, concealer. It's incredible. Incredible. All right, so I'm going to move on to lips now. This is the little lip balm that I got um, on my checkout. But way to check out. This is from Tony Molly, and it's a blueberry lip balm, and it has an SPF in it. I'm not sure. I think it's 15 or something like that. Um, obviously, like I said, the packaging got me. Still, still absolutely love it. But this stuff, you probably can't see, but I've actually used quite a bit of it. Um, it hydrates my lips better than any other lip balm I've ever bought. And, which I think is funny because I have like lip agaves and like hydrating balms and everything. This stuff is so good. And like I mentioned before in my last video, um, I tend to get a really dry bottom lip. But well, when I use this, I don't get a dry bottom lip. It hydrates so well. So I keep this in my purse. I take it with me everywhere. There's been two times it's actually fallen out of my purse and I didn't realize it. And it's actually getting really hot where I live now. 
and I found it in my purse after being in the heat. I mean, I found it in my car after being in the heat, and it didn't melt, which I think is really awesome, too, because if you leave any kind of lipstick or lip balm in the car, it usually melts, but this didn't. So, I actually will be repurchasing. I want to go back and just get, like, every flavor he has. I think this is limited edition, if I'm not mistaken, from the website. Okay, so let's see. The next thing I want to talk about is my Chanel Soleil Tan Day Chanel Bronzer. I've used this a bunch of times. I absolutely love it. Um, I do have it mixed with something else on my skin today. I have been really enjoying cream bronzing and contouring the last few weeks. Um, it's kind of my first go at it. I really enjoy it. And as you can see, I've used it several times. I've not made a dent. I've barely made like any kind of marks on the surface, so I have a feeling that this is going to last me a long time. Which is good, because for the price, it should last you a long time, because I would not be repurchasing this anytime soon. So, um, if you have the money, if you want to invest in something, I would say try it out. It's amazing. Um, I don't think it has too much orange in it. It's like a really good, just bronzing shade and it just makes your skin look really pretty let's see let's see oh didn't I say I was doing lips and then I just skipped to the Chanel the next lip which I actually have on right now which is actually soaking into my skin is the YSL um this is the tint in oil this smells like a watermelon Jolly Rancher to me which is my favorite Jolly Rancher. I love everything watermelon. I can't get enough of the smell. And the applicator is awesome. It fits like right into your lip. Oh, I love this stuff so much. This is what I put on when I don't feel like putting on any, like I said, with the Marc Jacobs, any lip liner or anything. I just throw this on. It nourishes my lips. It makes them feel really hydrated. It feels so luxurious on your lips. It's not sticky at all. Your hair doesn't get stuck in it. Um, and it just it gives you kind of like a really plump, glossy, juicy looking lips, which I love. I've been really into it recently. Um, I'm kind of getting away from my matte obsession with the lips. But love, love, love this. I will definitely get another one when I run out. And I think I want to try out a different color um, as well. So incredible I'm so glad I'm so glad I picked this up now the last few things I want to talk about one is from the drugstore and I know I don't talk about enough drugstore products on here and I just haven't been buying a lot of drugstore products so um, I think I'm gonna tr start trying to put them in more to my um my videos but this is the Maybelline Last Sensational Full Fan Effect Mascara. Now, uh, there, I saw there was a lot of hype about this, so I tried it out. I absolutely love it. Um, I've gotten compliments on my eyelashes when I use it. People say it looks like I have falsies on when I really don't. Um, I'm typically not a fan of plastic wands, but I really like this. I love the shape that it has. The only thing I really dislike about this formula, and this is what I was talking about with the Makeup Forever um, eye removal, is this stuff is a pain to get off. Like, a pain. It, honestly, like, I can use the eye makeup remover. I can use, like, the Philosophy um, Purity Wash. I can, you know, use everything. And I still will have residue of this mascara on. And it's not waterproof, because I don't wear waterproof mascara. I don't know what the deal is with this is, but it's awesome. Um, other than that, it, and it, it comes off clumpy, like a gel clumpy. It's weird, but I will repurchase it again. Um, I like it mixed with my L'Oreal Million Lash Mascara. So, but um, this is all I have on today with just some half falsies. But yes, great mascara. Try it out and it's cheap. It's from the drugstore. I got mine at Target, of course. So this next thing I haven't mentioned um, yet in a video, and I'm not quite sure why. Probably because I haven't done a favorites in a while. But this is the um, this is from First Aid Beauty. This is the Eye Duty Triple Remedy Overnight Balm. Now let me open it up for you. 
it's just like a gel, like a thick, um, well not gel, thick cream that you just massage into your skin. So I got this back a couple months ago when I um, had that really bad allergic reaction on my eyes. I'm still not quite sure what it was. It hasn't come back. Um, but I got this because I needed an eye cream to really hydrate my eyelids because they were really dry and you obviously can't like be aggressive when you're washing your face with your on your eyelids because it will pull and it will create wrinkles and this is a really sensitive part of your face. So you have to be very careful. So I went on to Sephora.com and I was specifically looking for an eye cream that went on the lids as well as underneath your eye because most eye creams just go on underneath. Um, and I found this and it was a newer product. I read some reviews, people liked it, people don't, you know, it's always mixed. Um, so I decided to take the plunge. I absolutely love this stuff. I don't use it every day anymore, but I use it probably two to three times a week on my eyes. Um, I do it after I cleanse my face at night and then I put it on um, to go to sleep with and it just absorbs into your skin and it makes, it really moisturizes your eyelids, which is good because I tend to get really oily eyelids, so I guess that means they're kind of dry at first. Anyway, so love this stuff. Um, I don't know if they sell it in Sephora, but they sell it on their website. And I think it was in the $30 range, but it was kind of worth it at that point because I was desperate. That's the last thing from my favorites. I really hope you enjoyed. As always, please leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions for videos. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to film another one tomorrow if I can. Um, I want to do a really dramatic eye and I have a look in mind that I want to film for you guys. Hope you enjoyed. Um, like I said, leave a comment. Check out all my social media. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Oh my gosh. One last thing. So yesterday was Memorial Day. And um, Tom had come home from Holland the day before. So we went to my parents' house for um, like a early dinner. Like we got there at like two something. And so I graduated college back in December. And for my gift, my parents said they were going to buy me a new car. Because my car, my old car is, um, it's older. It's kind of physically falling apart you could say it has like gorilla tape on the trunk because the trunk broke in the winter a couple winters ago and anyway so I had picked up my car um everything so yesterday actually surprised me with my car and I'll um insert a, a clip of the car or a video not a clip a video I will insert a picture or a clip of the car or something um at the end of this so you can see it it's a 2015 black on black Jetta SCL something 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 it's like it's a it's a nice car it's my big kid car um, I'm so appreciative so thank you mom I love you I know you're watching um, and I can't wait I've only spent like 10 minutes driving it so I'm definitely itching to go take her out on the road especially the highway see what she can do anyway so I wanted that add that in to my favorite because I'm already in love with it her I guess I should say I don't name my cars but it's definitely a her anyway I'm rambling um, thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video.